Welcome to the video. The gang is all here. I've got piping hot steam coming off the Clad Queen cup. Don't know if y'all can see the steam. We're on our last bag. Um, organic tropical green whole leaf green tea. How is everybody doing tonight? Saturday night. Saturday night. Mmm, that just smells so wonderful. So we're going to steep that. I believe it's steep. Put that over here. Waiting on an update on this piece of Skylab 2. Um, somebody I went to high school with on my Facebook works at NASA. So I just private messaged him and I sent a picture and told him and he's always posting historical stuff about NASA or whatever. Meeting the, you know, whoever walks on the moon. He's always putting stuff on there. I don't even know what he does there. But, um, so, I mean, that's a fantastic resource. And if anybody, since he's interested in the history of space, he could at least find out what we've got here with that piece I found in the trash. Oh, I found my little pair of pliers. And uh, see if I can't just pinch that together. Yeah, pliers work really well. That's amazing. So now we have a pair of Oklahoma It's some kind of crystal or glass. Um, the red as well. Anyway. Maybe it's a stone. I don't know. Don't know. Sometimes it's so hard to tell between stones and I almost think I punched it too hard, so there we have it. Well, we need to go through this pile here. I don't think there's going to be anything good left. But um, I remember we sort of ended on this. <clears throat> it's like gold-toned wire. I don't know what it is. Is it supposed to be a bracelet? I don't see a mark on this. I just don't know what it's supposed to be. So, um, there's that. I'll put it in the bead lot. If you want to know where my eBay and Etsy is, link, look on the banner for Clad Queen, and it's in the bottom right of the banner. The banner is the picture that goes all the way across. I think if you click on About, you can see it. What does this say? Chico's. And it's not in good condition. Well, it has the three colors. It has like a silver tone, a black tone, and a bronze tone. I will show you before we're done today the gold cross because we got it apart. This is plastic beads. It's not broken. Somebody just preferred, was able to use this instead. Probably had arthritis. That's what I'm, that's what I'm, that's the story I'm sticking with. <laughs> I have no idea. It's like so many of these from this lot are these ones with the, the safety pin. 
I mean, there's another one. So I just imagine it's somebody that couldn't really manipulate those tiny little clasps. There's a pair of earrings. Well, today started off looking for rocks before I could even sit and have coffee. Somebody put them out, and then, of course, I'm always too late. Same reason I don't go to garage sales and estate sales. If you're not there at 6 in the morning, you're too late. These are pretty. These are some pretty color colors big plastic beads <laughs> and then we took a bunch of books to the little um, the, the park little library filled it up it was empty maybe one or two books took some toys you know stuff that's been thrown away from the thrift store it's not trash it's been donated so I'm not putting trash out in my opinion um, people valued it enough to donate it usually after garage sales or something these are some pretty colors it's plastic I'm having trouble here I gotta get my arms like in a better position and that still isn't gonna work so anyway It's been a beautiful Saturday, and um, I was so thrilled to see that we have viewers from fin snowy and cold Finland. So, wow, exciting. Um, California and all over the world, but those were two of the newer people that has, have commented and sure enjoyed, I enjoy reading what everyone says my favorite thing to do first thing in the morning with my coffee is to read y'all's thoughts and people are always pointing out things that I don't know there's that another one of this ladies these all must be from the same era I'm thinking 70s or 80s and they are all big plasticky faux pearl type And we walked, Olivia and I, we had a rehide. We put out about 35 more rocks today on rehide. Um, and, you know, my mom calls me, what are you doing? Well, I'm always doing my little Saturday thing. Going to all the spots, treasure hunting while I'm putting stuff back out trying to see if I can just pull this it's caught on here somehow and I had several of the man that has this had the Skylab piece big bags of what was mostly trash but I took it to a we have a little old mall and in the back they have a short dumpster and nobody bothers me and I dumped it out in there so I could see it and I found a watch from him and I found uh, his his pocket knife and just some other little useful things like a fresh can of WD-40 and some some cement that we could glue um, I forget what kind of cement like in a tube and you I can glue stuff to the rocks so I don't know if I'll show y'all we found oh the dumpster today you know they close around 2 o'clock 
Usually she stays late, but she did not. And I had it all to myself. I didn't find much, but I still got three or four bags out. And, you know, the possibility of possibly finding something was there for a while. I found some pretty nice books, like the Mayflower and the Heritage of the People on the Mayflower. So I'll be able to sell those. This is a glasses thing, but it's missing that other piece there. And um, it was just wonderful, you know. I just don't like to share with these two, with anybody, really. Uh, I've been going there since 2014, and the way they have kept me from going is just upsetting. This says Italy. So when I can go and not be bothered by people makes me happy, even if I don't find anything. And that may sound greedy, but that's just the way I feel about this one particular place. Because of what I've had to put up with, with these two bozos. So that was nice. Didn't see them and got to get everything I wanted out of there in peace and leave. And nobody's, they didn't come up while I was in there. I mean, not in there, parked next to it. I'm not there long, and I was longer today. I was there maybe eight minutes because of all the bags. You know, I have to be careful getting them out, not lifting if it's too heavy and all that. I don't know how we're going to get this, this separated. This is, oh, this is an earring. I've got this all messed up there. This is an earring. It may have a maker's mark or something. Well, no, but this is a surprise. 14k gold filled. That's a surprise. We'd like to find the other one. Um, wow. That's a total surprise. So I guess all of the wiring and the chain is gold filled. Billy Bob, we're going to lay that there when I show you all the other item. I mean, when I show y'all the cross that we um, detangled, and it's it's hanging on Bianca, so y'all look forward to seeing that. It's pretty. This is just going to get pulled away. It's almost time to taste this tea. Boy, this is, I don't know, this is... Now, this stuff is truly tangled. I'm going to have to see what that says. Probably Korea. Yeah. Korea. And I'm not going to detangle it. Or this one. So these are all just going to stay together like that. Alright. Let's have some a sip of this tea. Mm, delicious absolutely delicious it has a fruity I mean like a 
flowery, fragrant, fruity type taste along with the green tea leaves. My favorite was the African Sunset just because I just kept tasting it thinking this is such a distinct, so many different tastes and it had the blue, y'all identified it as the cornflower and that was amazing. Uh, some of those blue leaves which was my favorite color. Uh, today I'm thinking about I'd like to if I ever get to have the house painted and all, it's going to be all white. We have brick, um, colored brick, but I'd like the shutters to be white and the whatever you call those triangles on the side of your house going up to the roof, white. And I was saw a teal door today, but I'm like, uh, I'm into something a little more, not quite so strong as the door I saw, but maybe a bluish light cornflower or something. It's another pretty yellow. Maybe I should do a lot with the yellow necklaces. This is pretty. I sure would like to find the other gold filled. Pin, peace sign. I need to see what that says. That says R. Cute. Wow. This says Juicy Couture on there. I don't know that I've ever had a piece of Juicy Couture. It is very couture-ish. I think it has wear on the chain. The pendant is nice. Well, I don't think I've ever had one of those. This is some pretty um, glass, like stained glass sort of beads. I think they're glass, they're cold. I don't think that's a stone. That's pretty. Another pearl doesn't say anything. Big pearl, faux pearls. I should just do a huge pearl necklace lot. Get these to some people that like them. I haven't been listing a lot yet again. I did a few that I showed y'all that I put some silver on Etsy and my link is also in that one where I'm saying selling on Etsy or something. This is cute. So just a kind of a different color, vintage style. Oh, this is totally tangled. But it's some pretty colors. That one's broken. This is that seed. One of the necklaces had seeds. Made in China. Robert Rose. That's pretty. Pretty one. That bag down there is getting full. This is some big chunky necklace. What's this? I'm not seeing any more like, um, well now this is a, uh, Edward C. commented, every time you say you're not finding something, then something pops out. 
This is a bamboo coral, what's called bamboo coral. So let me see what that's attached to. That's hilarious, it happened again, Edward. Um, I also went to Walmart today, you know, um, getting the truck, time to get the, uh, I'm on the second engine there with my dad's truck, so I'm, I'm keeping the, I've always kept the oil changed regularly. That's the one thing I, I've heard that you can do to extend the life of uh, an engine. And um, so it was a two and a half hour wait, but I got shopping done. I just leisurely shopped. It wasn't crowded because it was a beautiful day and everybody was out and about. There was a game, you know, a, a, our college was having a game and uh, there had been a, a um, parade downtown, Veterans Day parade. And so it was nice. And I leisurely went in and shopped. And my friend already cooked us. Um, we've been wanting like a hot, more of a stew than a soup. So she grew up in a large family. So she said, go get me chicken legs. Well, those are very decent priced chicken legs. And um, okay, we got this all untangled while we were telling that. Um, these are cold, so it's either glass or it's some kind of a stone with the butterflies, and then we've got a big chunk of bamboo coral. And no, I'm not for harvesting coral and all that, and I don't even want to look into what bamboo coral is versus the other more delicate kind. But I do have some coral pieces on Etsy that have come in the jewelry jars and I'm gonna probably put maybe this one on. We'll give that one over here to Shelly for now. So she was cooking the chicken legs, cooked them first in the pan, sauteed them and then chopped up onions. Um, I think she's using some cumin, one of the little um, pieces of like a chicken broth bouillon and chopped up onions, carrots, and some fresh zucchini about that size. And I can't remember what else. And then it, it had some broth, but it wasn't real liquidy. And then it was just very hot and filling. And um, we're about to get into the 20 something degrees in the next two days. So she did that. And by the time I did all that, the vehicle was done. So that was nice. These are pretty right here. This is a pretty necklace actually. I like it. Metal, metal and plastics with the rose and um, leaf type pattern. This is another um, shell green and it just seems worn. It's just way too worn. The paint has come off of most of it. Um, this is several strands of all kinds of different colors. It's broken. It'll go in the bead lot. Wooden and little seed beads and that looks like it's stone, but I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't think it's stone. It's too light to be stone. Sheila, look at this. You got a ring, Sheila. Sheila. 
that is a 70s ring wow big old ring let's have some more tea man that's good stuff good stuff Oh, this is pretty. Look at that. What does the clasp look like? I'm not seeing any marks. Nope. But it's pretty. That's not real either. This looks like something Sharon Stone would have been wearing in that movie about, I don't even remember, Los Angeles or something, Nevada. Gambling, Las Vegas, yeah. From the 60s or something. Not that this is from the 60s, but it just looks it. What do we have here? So we're managing to get through this. This might be an Avon um, SHA, probably designed for Avon. It's not precious metal, but it's pretty. <clears throat> it's a pretty, it's a pretty necklace. I guess this is just over the head type deal. Has a lot of wear. Almost done. These are pretty green glass beads. It's by Top Frog. And it needs a new clasp. Or we could just use our trusty um, safety. What do they call safety pins? That's a pretty necklace. Really pretty color. Top frog. Have y'all ever heard of that? I have not. Have not heard of top frog. Purple is pretty. It's plastic, swirly, so pretty. It's very interesting. And it belonged to the same lady. They must have just taken her stuff and just thrown it all together in a lot. This is very pretty. And it's not broken. Pretty. I like that one. Nice sound. I can't read that.
Fornash. Never heard of them either. It's pretty. It has enameling on both sides. There's a, this one's turning green. So it will go into, I don't really have a craft lot anymore. I've got so many on right now on eBay that just, um, I've sold two lots on there now, which is nice. I mean, they're on there still, uh, but somebody bought them and I appreciate it. So we have Billy Bob, some gold filled. So, um, these two pieces are gold filled and we never did have the other one of those. This is the pretty brooch. Nothing's broken. And those were all wrapped up on this beautiful 14K. And I think it is a box chain. The chain is labeled 14K. The cross is marked 14K. Very beautiful coming out of the middle. That was exciting. Coming out, just popping out of the middle of that big pile. And then so today wasn't bad. Um, we got some bamboo coral and we got some gold fill for Billy Bob. So he's going to get more gold filled. So where are we going to put it all, Billy Bob? You just... Some of his stuff is gold and the gold fill... It, I, I'm not selling that right now. Oh, look, he's moving his head. You're something else, Billy Bob. I tell you what, you know, you help us all keep a good attitude that whatever you're waiting for, be it um, health, um, uh, someone to help you with your loneliness, be it that you're ready to meet your maker, whatever it is, um, you know, it's going to happen. It's just a matter of when. Not if, but when. As he has shown us many a time. Um, one day we'll look in the gold, in the treasure box again at the gold, um, and we'll kind of look in there because I have the bottom part of it is the gold filled and then another part is the gold. And so far I haven't sold any. I'm thinking about selling um, a piece that's from Hawaii that's vintage that has some coral and a little bit of gold and it's still in the original box. So I'm thinking about that, putting that on Etsy. But um, I'm surprised this one is gold filled. This is plastic. So that's unusual, but it's pretty, and we will take it. We will take it. Angelica says it's time. And I have found even a couple more books that were going to the dumpster that um, we can read from. So we're not going to run out of spiritual inspiration. And just to be fair with everybody, this is a dumpster dive find. I'm not sure what that says. But obviously Buddha. And we just, you know, we welcome everyone. What are we? The ninth. November the 9th. Um, November the 9th. Fight the good fight with all thy might. Christ is thy strength and Christ thy light. This is November 9th. 1979 guidepost some years ago I recorded this poem as dial as a dial guidepost for inspiration telephone message it was one of the most popular messages the program ever had I don't know the author but perhaps it's if there's discouragement in your life these lines could help 
When things go wrong, as they sometimes will, when the road you're treading seems all uphill. When the funds are low and the debts are high and you want to smile, but you have to sigh. When care is, care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but don't you quit. Life is queer with twi its twists and turns, as every one of us sometimes learns. And many a failure comes about when he might have won had he stuck it out. Don't give up, though the pace seems slow. You might succeed with another blow. Success is failure turned inside out, the silver tint of the clouds of doubt. And you never can tell how close you are. It may be near when it seems afar. So stick to the fight when your heart is hit. It's when things seem worse that you mustn't quit. Father, give us the strength and stamina today to see things through and to do our best for you. See y'all next time. I'll keep y'all updated if I hear about this piece. And we are we will leave gazing at the wonderful gold cross.